For one college senior, text messaging isn't about finding the latest party. It's about saving lives. Josh Nesbitt, who's a senior at Stanford University, started a program at St. Gabriel's Hospital in Malawi. Simply put, it's a program that connects the hospital to the surrounding communities by using text messages. Essentially, in eight weeks, I put together uh, an SMS network, basically using text messaging to link remote patients via their local volunteer community health worker to this rural hospital. The hospital serves as a central hub. It's where all the text messages are processed through a laptop using a free software program called Frontline SMS. Simply using text messaging, sort of the simplest form of, of communication, 160 characters, a sentence or two, just to get the most vital information across. And in Malawi, which according to UNAIDS, has one of the highest national HIV prevalence rates in the world, hospitals and communication between doctors and patients is vital, yet rare. The two doctors at St. Gabriel's serve a quarter of a million people in a 100-mile radius. It's important to track patients, but with only two doctors, the community and hospital rely heavily on volunteer community health workers, who now are using these cell phones. Josh ended up teaching 80 community health workers how to text message and how to use the phones. The program is kind of functioning now like 911. Let's say someone's reacting to their HIV meds or uh, is, you know, is someone just broken their leg in a rural village. We get a text message from them. We, I would hop on the back of the one free motorcycle with the one free nurse and a bag of drugs and you know, get out 60 miles to see that patient and we might respond to five of those text messages in a day. Because this is an extremely low-cost program and it's easy to use, Josh is hoping Mobiles in Malawi can serve as a model for other parts of the world. For the Science Channel, I'm Casey D. Gardner.